Hello and welcome to another episode of Into the Gungeon. It's played by Gyra Monk with uh, gyroscope controls. We're gonna play as the Gunslinger because uh, we're still practicing. We're still we're still learning. We're still getting the 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 whole sync of things. Hold on, let me take a look at the controls just to prove to you that I'm on the gyroscopic thing. And also this item button. I'm not sure if ZR is actually gonna work. We're gonna test that out. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's like a, it's like a glitch thing. I noticed that today when I was trying to play um, during a break at the uh, at the old at the old sawmill. I don't know. I don't. What what do people call uh, their their day to day job? I know like I know derogatory terms people use for like their spouse, like ball and chain. The old grind? I don't know. Grind seems like it's still kind of like respectable. Not that I'm like purposely trying to be like <coughs> negative towards my workplace. You know, they provided money to uh, purchase the house, purchase a kid. Wait. Well, I mean, I was about to take that back, but like, have you seen hospital bills for a baby? <laughs> It's real, man. But yeah, so, uh, yeah, we're playing as a gunslinger. Real easy time. You can just focus on... On getting your aim right. You know, I just noticed something. <clears throat> Why, me maneuvering is a little bit tougher recently. In my last couple runs. And I know you're like, this is the second video of this series well <clears throat> if you uh, if you're following the twitch channel I've actually done like 20 done a lot of practicing on the stream um, but yeah I've, I've, I was using a different controller but I, I started noticing like a little bit of drifting going on on that controller and I should probably ship it back but I always you know you know how it goes. You're like, eh, it's a little bit of a hassle. It might take them a month. Which is what it took for them to return my last three. Granted, I sent all three of those at the same time, which is why I picked up another Joy-Con. You know, it's a little bit... <clears throat> it's one of those scenarios where I was like, you know, I could try to only play with my, my pro controllers. <laughs> but it's just, it's... <sighs> it's it's not conducive to portable play, that's for sure. Now, Gyro, you could probably get one of those bracket things and hook it up to your uh, your old doohickey and just make it work with the broken. No, no. That's why they made the Switch Lite because portable. It's supposed to feel a lot more natural than in a than everyone makes it seem. You know what? All right, yeah, let's just set this, set this back to default. Because I do not have my map buttons. What I've noticed is if you're if you're finding that your map button is not working, which is hold down the start button, it's because Okay, that one's good. It's because you need to uh just remap everything. It's glitched out. Let's go with that. You know what? No, our interact is fine, actually. There we go. Okay. Cool. You. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, adjusting my ears. Cool. Let's keep going. <laughs> A lot of you newer people that are watching these, you're like, why didn't you just edit that out? You know, I'm just, I'm here for the... For the non-stop conversation of the Gungeon roguelike plays. This is just how this goes. It's it's the way the cookie crumbles around here. If you watched uh, the other 40-some episodes of Enter the Gungeon, I commend you. The ramblings of a madman while he plays Enter the Gungeon. I mean, a lot of this is just like, hey, look at me. I can twist the controller around. <laughs> 
You know, I've told a lot of people I've been start <coughs> starting to play into the Gungeon with the gyro controls. The first question I'm hit with every single time is the <laughs> the name of the first episode. But why though? I'm just like, it's fun. Try it out. And they try it out and they're like, I hate my life. <laughs> I don't know. I, I like challenges. I like experiencing new things. I'm going to keep the extra key so we can go to the oubliette. <clears throat> Look at that. We got the start. <clears throat> we got the we got the map. And just by resetting to defaults. All right. I know how to do these. It's not my first rodeo, sweetheart. Uh, bullet twins. All right, cool. Uh, they're the uh, they're the trigger twins, actually. <laughs> I prefer it if you... The, the, the name is on the screen. You know what? That's actually a legitimate point. <laughs> there is absolutely no reason why we are we should be messing that up. And also, we almost got yeeted by that bottom guy. <gasps> oh, 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 there's a little bit... We're gonna go in extra Monka S mode, Gyro Monka S trademark pending. Do 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 do. Okay, that that second blank was not necessary there. Oh no! Okay, well there goes our hope and dream, hopes and dreams. Um, <laughs> you know who who needs the uh, who needs the extra heart, dude? The only heart that matters is the last one, right? You know, I hate that. <laughs> I hate that philosophy. Because it's just like, you can play reckless until... Until you get to the, to the end. And then you play super careful. You, know, you can't just flip that switch. I've been there. Been there, man. It's like people that say they, they can just go cold turkey. And uh, quit whatever they're addicted to. Nah, dude. Some people might have that kind of willpower, sure. But not a lot of people. the The percentages are quite low. If you if you actually wanted to quit, you'd be done. You, you know, it'd be gone. And I guess that's part of that. That's basically the gist of it. Is like you don't want to. I mean, this could go for anything. This could go for smoking. This could go for, like, food. Video games. See, I keep playing video games because I, I want to. It makes me feel like I, uh... uh <laughs> I don't want to speak out of turn here. <laughs> but it makes me feel like I'm good at something. Yeah, I, I, I'm opening myself up to, to a, a lot of criticism here, sure. <laughs> but it's that steady climb, all right? It's all about that climb. It's not, it's not all about feeling good about being good. It's all about the eventually getting there. Or at least having the... Um, <gasps> having that thing to hold on to. <laughs> Oh, yo, let's go. It, we're playing pretty smoothly. <laughs> Every time we mention it. Okay, grenade, you're gone. I, I do realize I used the word yeet unironically earlier. I apologize to any boomers out there that might be offended by my... Uh, huh. Adaptation of you know what? I didn't need those shields. I hate those rooms. I hate having health. Yo, this thing shoots a lot faster with the synergy, doesn't it? Okay, uh, wait, what's what is this? Yo, we could shoot pumpkins. All right, that's pretty slick. <laughs> I wonder what the difference is though. Looks like it might poison enemies. Yeah It's very possible Okay, okay 
a little bit of a little bit of focus there for a second and just uh it, it's a lot of bullets in the room and we've been getting hit quite a bit <clears throat> Da, 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 da. So I tweeted about this today, and you're you're gonna figure out when, um, <laughs> when this video was recorded because of that tweet. If you look at my Twitter, which I, this is like kind of a plug to my Twitter, but like if you're watching this, like my basically my daily vlog of of ramblings. You know, this is a uh, this is like a full forty-ish minutes of basically Twitter, <laughs> my personal Twitter handle. All right, there we go. Yo, we only have half a heart left. Are we gonna have to start this over? <laughs> I'm kind of scared now. I'm scared now. You're a roster. I get it. The irony th there with that song and with how I'm doing, I, I get it. I get it. <clears throat> it's not. It's not lost on me. Okay, but yeah. So the tweet. I <laughs> I replaced a toilet seat today. Um. I mean, honestly, it, it needed to be replaced for a while. It was, it's kind of like one of those super small ones, like porcelain ones, where it's like freezing cold whenever you sit on it. You know, it's just, it's one of those that just needed to go. You know what I'm saying? I'm not like, uh, I wasn't 100% upset when I sat on it too fast, and uh, it basically told me that I was fat. <clears throat> Which, I mean, I'll admit, you know, I could, I could probably, you know, use a diet. I'm, I'm trying to, I, I've, I've tried several times in the last, like, year, two years, three years, uh, to eat healthier and, like, exercise and all that. But, like, currently, in my profession, they, they don't let you, uh, have those kinds of liberties. Like, mental energy is completely gone. And then I gotta go home, and I gotta take care of the the kid, and like all all of those things. I'm not like I'm not complaining. This isn't a uh, soapbox right now, okay? This is not soapbox gyro. <clears throat> but basically, I don't have uh, I don't have time to go to to the gym and you know pump the iron, as they say. What about in the mornings? You don't. <laughs> I'm just saying, you can backseat all my game in. I'm. I can. I can figure out the life thing on my. You know, uh, by my lonesome. I'll, or I'll ask my parents because they're they're nice. <laughs> I love it when people try to backseat like their uh, favorite content creators, like actual life. You know, because, like, they give them permission, you know, with with the kindness of their heart to backseat during the, uh, during the streams. Because it's, like, nice, you know? It's, like, you don't have to, you don't have to look up the Wikipedia yourself, you know? Everybody's just, you know, usually extremely rude about it, sure. You know, in a condescending way, like, oh, he doesn't even know about the chest on the, in the corner of the room? Are you kidding me? Is that an accurate re uh, representation of chat? <laughs> but no, a lot of times um, there's there's some really solid people in the chat that's just like, hey, maybe if you, uh, it's it's a hard thing to do, okay? You know, a lot of times uh, if I'm watching somebody and they're struggling, I wait until that second where they're just like, does anybody know how to do this? You know? And I'm not saying you have to do that. Like, uh, this is not, like, you You could spend your free time the way you want to. <laughs> like I said. I mean, as long as it's not condescending. That's really the only uh, rule of thumb. Ba -ba -ba. I mean, <laughs> you're, you're probably, you, uh, if you're asking... How can I tell if a comment is condescending? Uh, that's a... Uh, <laughs> that's a loaded question right there, man. You probably should... You, you <laughs> I'm just... Just from from a, a fellow stream watcher slash content creator enjoyer, I, I guess is the term. 
<clears throat> just uh, keep it to yourself at that point. I mean, okay, so take it from somebody who probably has been too crass a lot of times. It, it, you, if, if you've known me for a while, you're, you're probably like, no, you haven't. <laughs> But yeah, like a lot of times like if I'm being critical, it just comes out way wrong just because you know my um Just because of my upbringing my parents are extremely blunt um, Etc, etc Yeah, I just I don't really know how to put things into kind words a lot of times You know, I have to I have to put some forethought into it, and I guess that's that's basically what we're getting at here <laughs> Oh, man. Just uh, think about what you're saying. Specifically, if you put it on the Twitters. I don't know. I feel like I'm getting on a, into a preachy route here. <laughs> you asked for it! All right. Well, how is the run going? <laughs> I like to put myself into the uh, the hot seat to try to describe the run. I have no idea. We have like okay guns. They're not very ammo efficient. If you've noticed, I've been uh, shying away from using the AK. This membrane's fine. But yeah, it, it got a little bit dodgy there in the oubliette. But um, I'll be fair, the uh, like to be fair, I'll be fair. <laughs> To be fair, the uh, the oubliette's actually a lot tougher than level two, and I'm still not used to it. So that's why we're running the game as the gunslinger. If you've never played Gungeon and you're wondering how to get the gunslinger, that's a that's a solid question. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to think that through. There's probably like some walkthrough you can. You can go, oh, look at, but, you know, I have, like, 40 minutes to fill, so I can try to... I could try to... Do a little bit of crypto mining into my, uh, cerebral... <laughs> Ooh, here we go. Nod key. There we go. We're good, we're good. No, we don't, we don't have, we don't have the equipment to be squandering into, um... Into a gun muncher here. So yeah, how to get the gunslinger? Ah, uh, something, something about getting paradox first and beating paradox, and you have to beat the the, the lich as paradox, and then beat the. <laughs> Very helpful, right? You have to beat the game twice in a row, essentially. Dude, the Gorgon! Okay, we better get... Not to put this kind of pressure on myself. We better get this one. The Gorgon is arguably easier than, like... Actually, it's 100% easier than the Bullet King. It's essentially the same. Uh, the same fight, except, uh, less bullets, I would say. It's getting a little bit framey. Uh, I, th I do believe we have found... Why? <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna go to speed mode just so I can focus on not getting hit here. Uh, we don't really care about the graphics here. <clears throat> we're playing on the Nintendo Switch, the poor little guy. Although when you look at Enter the Gungeon, it's like, eh, does it really need that much like firepower to to run? The answer, I'm not sure. You know, like I I'm not a developer by any means. I do know from my experience with the PlayStation Vita and mobile games, like uh, ports are usually. Pretty rough. <laughs> if you've played the original version and then you're hopping into a port, you know, prepare yourself for like a worse experience, just in general. 
Yeah, PC Master Race. Yeah, but you also paid like quadruple for your stuff. Or your parents did, so. Yeah, but premium. <laughs> premium experience is premium cost. It's just. It's. Just unrealistic for a lot of us. Alright, sir? Mr. Mr. Lexus of the PCs? I don't know. This sounds a little bitter. Uh, I'm excited for Stadia. <laughs> I'm not a I'm not a founder. Uh, I'm I'm not like a, you know, I'm not in the founders. Um, yada yada. I'm definitely waiting for the first initial reviews uh, before uh, trying to pick up my own uh, subscription onto it. <clears throat> and also, you know try to find better prices it's like 130 bucks and they're like yeah we'll give you like the first three months are you serious <laughs> i get it it comes with the controller it comes with the stick etc 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 but it's just it doesn't feel it doesn't feel like it's worth its price worth the asking price right now we're gonna definitely buy a key so we can open up that black chest Yep, that's totally worth it. Um, do we need... We don't need any heals, do we? No, we're full. Full. <laughs> GG game. Yeah, we're gonna definitely make it to the rat room. And the rat's gonna get annihilated. I remember when I was raiding this run in the beginning of this floor? Just a single floor. It's gone from like a C minus to an absolute A plus. You know, the only thing we're missing is like a solid active item. You know, maybe like a a Daruma, even though I don't trust myself with a Daruma with the uh, with the single Joy-Con quite yet. Uh, let's see if there's a cracked. Yo. Yo, it's a freebie. Or is it? He probably shouldn't check if it's a mimic like right next to it, but you know what? I was feeling feisty. And uh, also, we got an extra key. Let's just do it. Ghost bullets? Oh, zombie bullets. Okay. It works for me. Alright, let's do this thing. Let's go look for that rat room. Oh, so where were we? <laughs> we covered a lot of topics here. <clears throat> you can tell I am just now like starting it back up this series. Uh hope you like the thumbnail. Hope you like I don't know. Hope you like all the all the uh reskins, the new the new logos, the new uh <laughs> the new me. I don't know. It's the same me. <laughs> you can't really do that much of a departure from yourself when you've already like been like yourself and it's it's kind of hard to do anybody else. Monka. Monka toss. <laughs> uh, I am working on a, a little bit of inside baseball for you. Uh, I am working on a lot of content with um, with other people. Uh, along with uh, Into the Gungeon and Overwatch. Um, you know, it's gonna be my excuse to play maybe like <clears throat> maybe different games. Um, I don't know. I've got a lot of ideas. All right, I have not just been just sitting <laughs> on my computer chair, just staring at the screen, or playing other video games. I've, I've <laughs> I mean, that's like half the time, but. I've definitely been trying to figure out what what the best kind of stuff I can put out there is. Um, this is definitely one of the things that I miss doing, just yabbering about my days and uh, playing some Gungeon. Glad I could find out some way to to bring out fresh stuff for y'all. Hope you're enjoying this while eating your breakfast or trying to fall asleep. <laughs> Okay, so we are looking for the rat room. 
I'm a little bit distracted, sure. But rat room, uh, floor three is kind of big. You know, it's, it's when the, the floors start getting uh, quite sizable. <laughs> okay, all right, good, good, good. Yeah, I like the thumbnail quite a bit. Uh, I had a help from a friend help design it. Um, oh, this room is getting super crowded. Um, busting out the rail gun. Which is not helping too much. Okay, there we go. Good stuff. Wow, we've got three glass guan stones. Look at us. Extremely fancy. You already know. Alright. Yeah, Skyward Sword's still coming out uh, quite a bit. Um, we're gonna, we're gonna, <laughs> we're probably gonna keep that going for a while. Uh, Skyward Sword's like a pretty long game. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm like seventy percent on the hero mode because uh, I'm already like figuring out most of the game. I mean, what are we like about to be on the second dungeon at this point? I don't know. But yeah, feeling good about the content on the channel, on the streams. Um, it, it's all about finding that balance that uh, that you can juggle between your real life and uh, what you got going on, um, or what you want to play in uh, video game spheres. What am I excited for uh, this fall, game-wise? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Overwatch? <laughs> I mean, Luigi's Mansion is kind of up there, but I've never really played... I didn't really play the original one. And I realize we've gotten hit twice now. We lost the... Uh, <clears throat> we lost the... What's it called? The Master Round. This might not look very good for us when it comes to the rat. <laughs> now that I'm thinking about it. Okay. What gun should we use here? I feel like the railgun's not doing its job. How dare you disrespect the ray gun? I I know. I ooh, ho, 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 void core. <laughs> well. <laughs> the railgun's got to earn its keep now. <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you. The, the photon, the void core is um is an absolute gem, especially with the synergy, like the immediate synergy. Yo, bum bullets. Let's go. Also, if you're wondering why all my guns are OP, the gunslinger if you're if you're uh, still waiting on how to unlock the gunslinger because I barely explained it <clears throat> the gunslinger actually activates all the gun synergies automatically or it has a chance to it has a high chance of like uh, of unlocking a lot of them so like some guns have a lot of different synergies uh, bug boots weird egg I'm thinking the weird egg. Yeah, let's grab the weird egg. Where's that rat room? Granted, lots of rooms we haven't found, we haven't looked through. Oh, also, in the gameplay, it must have been <laughs> messing with a lot of you guys. Why is he walking so slow? I don't, I don't really notice. Not with the gyro controls, because it's... You know, I'm still trying to get used to it. <laughs> I'm still trying to make sure I don't fall off ledges. So I'm like, I'm kind of happy that I had it off. But also, I looked at the I looked at, at the clock for the video, and it's already been 30 minutes, Monka. Okay. All right, here we go. 
Yo, we don't have a thing. All right, it's fine. We'll get the junk. Okay. No chest here, or no rat room here. Could be anywhere. All right, this is definitely it. You can see exactly where it is. <laughs> That's the power of the Nintendo Switch, y'all. Or I guess lack of. All right. Uh, we don't have a key. We do have both blanks, though. Thank goodness. Let's go grab this key. Um, these things that I like remind myself usually <laughs> when it comes to to playing some into the gungeon. You know, they're just not they're not the, at the tippy top of my brain. You know what I'm saying? Like it's it's just uh it's just one of those things. That you you lose when you don't use. Okay, don't mind that. There we go. Roll up. There we go. And good. Alright, exclamation exclamation point rat in the chat. Down right, down up, down up. That sounds like it's different from uh, your your other runs. It it is. <laughs> Cause my other runs were on the uh the personal computer. <clears throat> They were the, they were, <laughs> we were using the Twitch application of Enter the Gungeon. You guys probably didn't even know you could purchase games from Twitch. You can't. Because they got rid of the feature. They thought that they were going to be a store as well. But that didn't turn out. Perfectly fine. We got the we got the Epic Game Store now. We got Steam coming. Oh, dude, Steam has this feature coming out where it's essentially like remote play, or like it's share play from PlayStation. If you're not familiar, you can just um, basically what it was advertised for. And let's not get hit by the cursed bullets. Oh my! Hold on. Hold on. Focus is necessary, I guess. I forgot how tough these rooms were. Down right, down up, down up. Yo, we've only got half a heart left. Don't you dare mess around. Okay. Okay. Um, I don't know what gun to use here. We, we need something that sprays. Okay. Down right, down up, down up. But yeah, Steam's coming out with this share play that is essentially... Wow, that is insane. <laughs> it's essentially allowing you to play local co-op games. Those games that, you know, you really want to play with your friends, but they're advertised as local co-op only because... The developers uh, didn't see it financially. You know, they, they they didn't have any net code developers on their team. They didn't feel like hiring one, etc., etc. They didn't see the profits. Yeah, you you get where this is. Yeah, basically happening. Um, okay, finally. Oh, we're walking in with two and a half hearts. It's fine. What do we want to refill here? Real gun. It's got to be one of these. Okay. Cool. That works with me. Let's start with the void core cannon. But yeah, I'm, I'm trying to rack my brain of like, what games? <laughs> I'm finally going to want to play with my buds. And uh, like, from the top of my head, it's... Probably, um... Oh man, I'm forgetting the name of the game. It's so much fun. Um, you play as little dudes that, that are flying a ship together. No, not Kerbal Space Program. That's 
making a ship fly that's completely different. You can you can smell the rust on this on this uh <laughs> on this run. <laughs> yo! Yo! No! Oh man. Alright. <laughs> if you enjoyed the rambling, if you enjoyed the gameplay, thank you so much. And uh, hit that like button. If you want to watch other episodes in the future, hit that sub button. Uh, otherwise, I will catch you on the next one. See ya.